All right, guys, for the async, uh, I'm going to do two problems based on what we covered uh, on Zoom yesterday, and then you'll do the rest. Um, so if you remember here, uh, as long as we have an x up there, not a, not a function, um, if I want to calculate f prime of 2, I can calculate f prime of x literally just by replace, writing this function down, but with x's instead of t's. So we've got 3x squared plus 5x plus 6. So I want to do f prime of 2. This will be 3 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 plus 6, which is what? Um, three, 2 squared is 4. Uh, so this is what? 12 plus 10 plus 6, which equals 28. All right. And then if we have a function up there, um, we flip it, uh, we, uh, we have to use the chain rule. So if I want to do g prime of x, what we do is we take this guy with this guy plugged into it. So we're going to get 3 times 2x squared minus 3 squared plus, 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 five, 5, come on, there we go, 5 times 2x squared minus 3 plus 6. And then we multiply by the derivative of this guy, which is going to be 4x. So I want to do g prime of 1. That's going to be 3 times 2 times 1 squared minus 3 squared plus 5 times 2 times uh, 1 squared minus 3 plus 6 times 4 times 1. Which then is equal to 3 times negative uh, 1 squared plus 5 plus 5 times negative 1 plus 6 times 4, which is what? Uh, 3 minus, I lost the, no, 3 minus 5 plus 6. So that's what? 3 plus 1, so that's 4. 4 times 4 is 16, if I did the arithmetic correctly. Good luck on the other ones.